with Alana from um, One Division and Brooklyn Nine-Nine when I had her on, we played a little guess the English slang game. Okay. And uh, I thought you could give that a go and try and top her score. Okay, yeah. Let's so, um, so we're going to start off with what would you say a cupper is? A cupper? A cupper, spelled C-U-P-P-A. That's got to be like, like coffee. I'm gonna grab a cup of and get out of here. I'm gonna give you that. It's it's we say it as like a cup of tea. Cup of tea. All right, there you go. Yeah, cup. like tea. Yes, I'll give you that one. Well played. Nice. Yeah. So, what do you think a sani is? Sani. A sani. So it's like S A R N I E. Sorry. I like that you're giving me the spellings. This helps. Um, yeah, I think I think the, the, my accent as well probably doesn't help with it saying them. But, <laughs> that's <yeah>. okay. <laughs> uh, Sarni. I don't know. You guys like to abbreviate and shorten things. I know that. So it's got to be like a. I don't know. Scarf is coming to mind. I don't know why. I and mean, I, that doesn't even fit with what I first thought, but still like a scarf. <laughs> what was it that you was first thinking? No, that was what I, that was what first came to mind when you said the word. Right. Okay. I just like, in, like logically, I'm like, no, they like to abbreviate things. So I wanted to try and figure out what, you know, what you could be abbreviating. I see what from. you mean. I see what you mean. It unfortunately is not a scarf. Right. Asani is a sandwich. <laughs> sandwich okay so you'd say you'd say like oh this morning i had a bacon sarnie for breakfast yeah, with a cuppa with a cuppa exactly see you you get in there you got in there yeah, oh yeah <laughs> so if i was to say and it has been recently if i was to say it's raining cats and dogs mm -hmm. what would that mean oh well, i mean here it means it's like it's raining it's big heavy rain downpour yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so is that is that a Canadian saying as well? Yeah, we have that one too. Yeah. Oh, you've sneaked you've sneaked one in there then. An easy point. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of the Canadian kind of English is uh, picked up from from British influence. Right? Yeah, so we do have some some things that are similar. A couple of crossovers. Yeah. We like to see it. Um, okay, so I've picked two weird ones to end on. Right. Um, so we've got Bob's your uncle. Mm -hmm. Have you got that one? I say that a lot and I think I use the right context. I'm trying to explain, like, I'm trying to think, how do I explain when you say that? Um, almost like you're, that's a way of like wrapping up a plan. Like, okay, so we're going to run to the store. We're going to grab groceries. we we'll get home, put everything away. We'll all make dinner. Bob's your uncle, baby. Perfect. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Smashed so, it. So I don't know how to explain exactly what that means, but it's kind but of, I know. Yeah. I know, you know, yeah. yeah. To be honest, because I tried, I tried to explain that one to Alana, and to me, it was pretty much the same explanation. It was go to the shop, get some milk, come back, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Which in my head, I was like, it's not a good explanation, but if you know what it is, yeah, that's the end of the plan. It's done, done, everything. Yeah, done. yeah. I'll give you the point for that one. Well done. Okay, right, final one. If something is the dog's bollocks, I mean, bollocks is like. It's like butt cheeks, kind of, isn't it? Like that's the dog. Boll bollocks are um your balls. Balls. Oh, geez. Okay, yeah. So the dog, <laughs> I mean, it's it's probably something that kind of sucks. Like it's the unfavorable option. You think it was, but for some reason, in this country, if something's great, we say that's the dog's bollocks. So the dog's bollocks would basically be the equivalent of the bee's knees. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it really would. Yeah, there you go. It's uh, yeah, to be honest, we've got a very strange version of the bee's knees. That is a strange version, but I mean, bee's but, knees is pretty strange too. So, you know, tip for time. true, true. But three, three out of five is uh, is a really good effort on that. So, well played. Or as we might say here, I don't know if you have this one six of one, half a dozen of the other. No, no, is that that the same? For the same meaning sort of yeah like bees knees and dogs bollocks six of one and half a dozen of the other i like it i'm gonna start using it mm -hmm. <laughs> i like it 
We'll tra- yeah. transfer some um, some lingo, some yeah. Canadian and English lingo. We'll just start swapping it and start confusing everyone around us. It's great. It's really expanding both of our uh, cultural awareness and oh yeah, and usage of the English language, which um, you know is spoken by people all over the world. So there's a lot of weird versions of it out there. Oh, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> including dogs bollocks. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's definitely up there.